hey guys how are we doing just go back in literally right now i just needed something to cool down and i was like abby you better don't waste this your makeup come and use this your makeup to come and finish this video because it was me that asked people to ask me questions so you better do the video i wanted to chicken out of it because <laughs> i was like I mean, you didn't do get ready with me, but I was like, now nah, I won't do that. It's not nice. So I'm back. I just got back, but you guys shouldn't worry because we all went out. So you guys will catch up on the vlog um, later in the week. But I just want us to relax and just cool, just sit down, and just enjoy the quietness, and I will just answer all these questions. So I am definitely not going to be calling people's name. Like I'll just, just be answering the question straight up is first a mental check-in uh, just how you're doing mentally emotionally etc you know what I feel like personally I'm okay right now actually doing well the only thing for me right now is I feel like I don't when it comes to career wise I've said it before I still don't know what I really want to do and I'm just right now I'm not letting it bother me so I'm just basically just going with the flow but anything emotionally me I'm a strong girl nobody can mess with my emotion it was back in the days I used to be an emotional wreck but right now your baby girl has elevates you know nothing bothers me that much if it's not money then I'm not thinking about it <laughs> not be bothered any dating I'm just being nosy I'm not dating at the moment Ooh. As my bra be showing. Ooh, that's not ladylike. Um, you know, dating life is just, you know, before I literally ran out of it, like, and I'm, I'm like, I'm not into this. I, I don't want to get involved in this dating scene and all that. So I move out of it. And I just peeped in again and see what was happening. And it's still all the same thing. Like, I'm like, ha. Ah. I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I'm ready for this. Like, you know, sometimes in life, you just need to know who you are and just be true to who you are. I can't deal with guys just lying and all the same and the same and the same. You know, they say they don't, they don't have anybody. Meanwhile, they have somebody in Kaduna. I read with thank Oh, nah. I, oh, can't, I can't. So for me, the dating life is... It's not for me. I, I can't be bothered. Um, any upcoming traveling plan? That's the next thing. You guys know I love traveling. Never know. I might be in America pretty soon. Canada pretty soon. Australia pretty soon. A girl could be going international. But like, you get that. That's not the, the song went. I'm not. I'm, I, if I'm talking in any at all, okay? It's not Abby that is talking. It's the alcohol in the system. <laughs> I had um what drink did I have? You guys were watching the vlog. It was really really nice and they had a lot of rum in it. Rum is it rum? It's so beautiful. Like it's just amazing. Tonight was really good and now I'm I'm cooling down with this. So whatever is spilling out of my mouth <laughs> it's just stuck. It's just the alcohol in the system. Where are you in life? Your future plan? Uh, where am I in life? I feel like I don't. I am in that stage whereby I don't know where I am. Wait, no, that's wrong to say. Right now, I feel like I'm just going with life. That's not right to say. I feel like I am just letting God lead me. How about that? Because I feel like I've always had a plan, I want to do this, I want to do that. I put so much pressure on myself and when it's not happening, I kind of still blame myself and make myself think I'm a failure. But right now it's like, I don't even know what to do. I'm just confused about the old things. So let God just take control. So right now I'm really, really confused about so many things, like literally a lot of things, but I feel like me following the way god wants things to be done in my life it's the best way like you can't force things and i just listen to my int intonation is that what it is when you just listen to your mind or your mind say this is what you should have not just listening to myself just listen to my inner voice that's it oh, i thought my neighbor was creeping on me 
Oh, people are still talking about this budgeting video. Are you still working with your other job? I know a lot of people always ask me this and I've always said my job is like Yes, I am still working there, but it's just If you guys notice that almost a year or so now I haven't been talking about it the thing is when things are bothering me when things are not making me happy when things are just too much in my head I don't like to talk about it. I don't dwell on a lot of negative things like that i'm not saying my job is negative but i'm not enjoying it as much as how i used to enjoy it i like I, it's nice to wake up and go to job work if there is work for me but you know it's just not as fun as how i used to enjoy it back in the days but it is what it is and i'm just still there doing what i can do people would have said oh why can you not do something else why can you not find something else that's the same reason why i'm saying i don't literally i don't know what to do it's it's just as as easy as that i don't i'm so confused about it but i am praying to god to just lead me to just show me the way and just you know pull the right thing that i'm supposed to do in my hands that's why i'm doing everything so today you see me i do cook to so tomorrow you see me i, I climb the tree and um, painting the wall tomorrow you see me i sweep i clean one day the one that is mine will be mine so that's why i'm basically saying like i don't know what to do i'm just going with a flow with life um when are you going to introduce us to your other half i don't have other half at least i've said that from the beginning it's i'm a whole one it's i'm the whole one there's no half of me <laughs> it's just me alone so there's no other half um are the boys that part of their life well he tries to be this is the same question again are you still working the that job that you were before before you went to nigeria or is is you to be your main job now let me just answer that youtube has a main job the thing is right now youtube is really youtube i've i don't think i've done youtube more than my other job if you guys have been with us the longest you know that i put the same effort i put on youtube the same as my work and the level of my consist consistency has been the same youtube for me is Honestly, it's pretty easy for me because I'm not having to crack my head up and say what content do I need to put out there? What do I need to do? Or how, what video, what makeup, what fashion? I just do me. I do my vlogs. I do my claim with me, my cooking, my grocery shopping, like basically my life. So for me, YouTube is not like a main, 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 like a job like that. It's just something that I really enjoy. But of course, there's a little bit of money coming through that. But it's not sustainable for me to live on YouTube money alone. I mean, you guys can tell by the views. You guys already know how the YouTube agony, is it agony game or whatever those things are. You guys know how YouTube works. If you get more views, if people are really um engaging with your channel you get more money but with my own 1000 views uh i can't live with that i have to do a lot of work so that i can make a lot of money would i want youtube to be my main job of course yes who wouldn't want to be doing what they love and getting paid like you're not stressing and one thing I always tell my friends and all that is, even though I feel like I'm making a lot of money on YouTube, I would want a regular job, maybe a job that can be going once a week. Because it can be so boring when you're just doing this alone, like you're not going out to work. To, to see other people it's just boring it doesn't work for me because i am a very go 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 do all this do this like i like to be busy also i think i've seen some people leave a comment like you don't work how do you get money darling doesn't mean because i don't scream on this i shout oh i'm going to work or that doesn't mean i'm not working i still have a full-time job but it's just that as i said i'm not happy with the job and i'm not i wouldn't i don't really like to talk about what i'm not happy about i'm sure you guys already kind of know that as my um personality like if i'm not vibing with something if something is not tickling my fancy i won't talk about it i would just 
let it go because there's no point dwelling on something that really pisses you off oh guys sorry this thing caught me off i think i stop at where um, i was talking about um the youtube stuff oh and i love the way you're decorating your house that's the next thing the person said thank you so much now my battery is about to go off oh sorry guys i was almost oh, it's too long <laughs> i was gonna say we are almost done but it's still long um the person said we miss your budget in a oh you guys already know how i feel about this you know how i feel about it silly guys i'm getting tired now okay i'm i'm, I'm not gonna long all the um this thing um and I'm, I'm not gonna talk a lot on each topic i'm just gonna go slowly and the next one is are there any other places in your place that you will be redecorating maybe your your bathroom ah you know what there's no other place my bathroom i am done like if the cat so cannot come and fix it i am not doing it if you guys don't know from the beginning even before i started doing anywhere in this house i think i did the bathroom i towel everywhere the bathroom and my living room and my house and everywhere is not matching up. I've called the cancer so many times. They're not coming to fix it. They need to change the toilet. They need to change a lot of things there. And I'm not going to use my money to do that. Because this is not my house. When I finish this living room. That's it. I am done. <laughs> Weight loss journey. Oh guys. I know you guys can see. Your girl is losing some weight. Coming soon. Weight loss video coming soon sleep is catching me it's already 12 30. oh who and what inspire you oh my god this is a good one my god this person has a lot of questions who and what inspire me a lot of people inspire me a lot and honestly the change that i have seen in my life i would say it's inspired by a lot of people that i watch on youtube i feel like um since i've started like literally fully watching youtube i've seen a lot of growth and a lot of changes in me youtube is so big you see different people with different different personality you see people that you can relate to you feel people that you can be like oh my god these people are living my life and i feel like most of my um inspiration or most of the people that i look up to are on youtube i watch a lot of youtubers and i feel like i pick small from everyone and they do inspire me i'm not gonna lie even i inspire myself sometimes when i watch my video back you know when you watch yourself and you're like is this you and it just gives me that boost like oh my god you know i know it's a bit savage but a lot of people inspire me a lot like i have growing up i didn't live with my parents like that i've always lived with this one live with that one live with that one and everywhere i have lived i have i have learned different things and they've made me who i am like you know that say when they say um it takes the whole village to raise a child i am in i'm an example of that and that has really just when i think about my life right now i'm like is the people that have impacted in my life that has made me who i am and i get a lot of inspiration everywhere everywhere i go i i will learn something and i'll take it and i'll use it as mine so those are the things that inspire me do i have a five-year plan i don't even have a one-week plan because right now i am so confused i am the most confused person on earth i am and i am not someone like that before i'm always the kind of person that i know what i want and i know how to get it but right now i'm just so confused and i feel like maybe god is trying to tell me something maybe god is trying to say you're doing way too much you're not the one in control of your life i am in control of your life i have the plan for you so you are going to do what i've asked you to do and i am not disputing that part so i'm just following god's plan for me do you have a bucket list actually i don't but maybe i do because i want to travel all over the world so but it's not something i've put in my bucket list any advice on gold achieving listen if it doesn't work out keep trying trust me if you're trying to achieve something and it's not working out 
don't give up um lastly what makes abby and the boys happy you guys make me happy food make me happy hanging out around my friends and family makes me happy having a clean and nice house makes me happy being around happy people makes me happy actually i recently understand that money makes me happy <laughs> And I have money in my account like this. I just uh, smiling and I know you just wake up in the middle of the night. You just check your app. You just see, ah, see money. <laughs> they are cheap, they are cheap. <laughs> Hey, this is not <coughs> it's not coronavirus. Oh my god, today when we went out today, it was so much fun. There was this couple, this guy, it was so much fun. Anytime anybody sneezes, like hey, COVID nineteen, stay. Away. It was so much fun. You guys will catch up on the vlog. No, I didn't actually pull those ones there, but we had. Okay, guys, this is um my battery actually cut me off. Oof, sorry, the thing literally cut me off. But this is actually the last store. Person said coronavirus food shopping, guys. It has been so ridiculous literally shopping is like hunting <laughs> literally we can't find anything you literally have to go to the store super early if you're lucky to find some things and even the local african markets there's no tata shit you know the small no rodo there's no rodo there's no someone tissue tissue is good now in the uk like there's no there's no tissue anywhere and it's just you know it's just a lot because of this coronavirus and uh, it's a bit scary to see that we are all working and there's this you know virus everywhere that all of a sudden is kind of deadly and the government are literally not doing anything not like they're not doing anything it's just they haven't found a solution to it but um let's everyone just basically do what they've asked us to do oh yeah remember what i was saying about the guy we were all just cracking up like even if you cough now people will be like oh god don't give me coronavirus it was just so much fun he was just joking about it and it, it was it just it was just really nice but let's be safe even as little as jd knows that every time he go out i try to tell him not to touch his face so that um i mean you you there's no how you go out on the street you have to touch something but just don't oh god <coughs> now nah, i want to cough oh god just don't touch your face and don't stand right in front of people that a coughing try as much as possible to avoid gatherings um when you get back home wash your hands and all those things i know i mean i, I don't know like everyone is it's just it's just ridiculous these days but i know we are i don't want to start putting god in this thing because this virus is killing people so um that's that i'm gonna end this video now i'm actually gonna take off my makeup but i want to show you guys something um uh, this was actually uh i was watching was it i think it's lydia ding i always get her name mixed up everyone knows that you know is it lydia dinga she was talking about this um um what's this thing called eyelashes i'm about to take my eyelashes out so i thought i would let you guys know i went in into pound shop and i packed a lot if you guys like the fluffy the kind of long type of um eyelashes <laughs> my it's literally like two o'clock now okay no it's not two o'clock it's 1 20 um uh, if you guys like lashes long one like milk lashes let me take them out because i'm about to right now i want to take off my makeup get this one and this oh god look at the difference this one is called unforgettable unforgettable i got all of them but i got a lot of this unforgettable this is what it looks like it is it's really thick and it was one pound yes guys one pound and one other thing i would i like to well i'm i like to do is to always take out the glue then you would the, the lashes will last longer i really packed a lot i feel like i packed enough lashes that will last me for a year 
this is what this one looks like i don't know i want to show you guys properly because i want you guys to go and get it go to your lookup these are the things that you should be going out of stock it's tissue people are buying there I don't know what they want to do with tissue. People like to overdo things in this country. They're just packing tissue in as, as if they're going to eat tissue. We're even having the debates. They were like, people, it doesn't make sense with packing tissue like that. Like, pack things that you can eat, pack food. If the worst comes to worst, you can wash whatever you want to wash with water, not tissue. Tissue does not even clean it properly. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. Okay, people are packing vice. Packing, like, come on, man. You guys need to think about other people. So this is one of the lashes I've put back. Can you guys see? It's very neat. Like, I can always use it back. Uh -huh. Oh, good job, Canon. Canon is focusing now. Can you guys see? It's really fluffy. I love this. So that's what I'm going to do. Um the old coronavirus thing is really affecting us in the uk i'm not gonna say it's not they haven't declared anything yet um everything is still um in going and even with my own job that is kind of dealing with elderly people i kind of feel sorry for them sometimes because i feel like i can be going out and be coming into their house and be giving them something so i try as much as possible to be to keep myself clean, to wash my hands, to use my gloves, to use my hand sanitizer. Just do what I can do to help it. And until they declare, wish you know, no work. Because one thing you guys don't understand about this country is if you don't work, you don't get money. It's just it's just like that. There's no one that would say, oh, I, oh my, this thing's about, what's wrong with this thing that's going to cut me off? I'm coming guys. Let me delete some stuff. I'll come back. It won't take long. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Um what was I gonna say? Yeah, so that's what is happening here. Um we pray uh, everything dies down super quick. Um anything other than that, we are here, we are trying us to keep ourselves safe as well. And I hope everyone is safe and, you know, it's not only happening in the UK, it's literally all over the world. Can you guys now see how it's just so weird, one disease is taking all over the whole world. Like, God is great. Anyway guys, I am going to wipe my face up. I hope there's still more wipes in the show, but... Voila, <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this very chill out video and... Just talking anyhow, talking anyhow, talking. <laughs> now, after that, taking off my makeup, I need to go to bed. Um, I'm going to see you guys. Um, let me see. I don't even know. I haven't had the structure of my YouTube for this week. Like, when I, when I mean structures, I don't mean, I don't know how my videos are planned. I didn't record anything during the weekend. So, this is kind of the first video I am recording during the weekend. But I know I'll find something. I've even started editing self, so you guys might get this pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoy this and thank you everyone that I have that have um that um what was I saying again? Thank you everyone that left comment and I really appreciate you guys so much. Like you guys you guys don't understand the love I get from you guys is overwhelming sometimes. Uh, thank you guys so much. <laughs> oh Lord, I want to take everything off from fine gear to house gear. <laughs> it's only a big. <laughs> why? Why? Thank you so much. I'm going to go to bed right now. Oh my God, why is my hair like this? I hate putting my hair. Guys, I've been wearing my hair out. Ah! I haven't actually, I've been wearing my hair out. I've been wearing my dread out. I hate putting it underneath the cap. It just make everything so flat. I've been wearing my dreads out too, and I love it. I, I, I really love it. Anyways, let me leave you guys, because I started looking beautiful then I, typical Abby. Good night guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.